Hello there, how's it going fellas? This is Ron from MathBase, and I know it's been a while since I've made a video. There was a lot going on during the Christmas break, including getting a new job and building a new computer. But now I'm back, and I thought I'd try something a little different today. I like playing Minecraft, and I was reading about how to use melons to make bone meal on the wiki, when I came across this paragraph, which claims that you can make about 64 bone meal using 900 slices, compared to only making about 9 bone meal out of 100 melons, which is a very big difference. If we come over here and have a look at the breakdown, one melon can break into 9 melon slices. And melon slices apparently only have a 50% chance of creating one level of compost, as compared to melon blocks having a 65% chance of doing the same thing, which is only slightly higher. So if we come over here and have a look at the composting process, as I begin putting melon slices into the composter, we can see that it sometimes will generate a level instantly, and other times it'll take quite a few tries. Whereas with melon blocks, it can usually generate a level within a couple of tries, because it has a slightly higher chance. But since one melon block is made up of 9 slices, we could potentially make more bone meal using the slices instead. And the claim is that it can make about 7 times more. So being the maths guy I am, I wanted to test out this claim and set up this experiment. On the left, I've equally divided up the 900 slices into 9 hoppers, each of them containing 100 slices. And on the right, I've placed 100 melon blocks into this hopper. To ensure the results are accurate, I'll put in brand new empty composters for each of these hoppers, which will process all the bone meal and send it to their corresponding chests. So all we need to do now is flip the switch. But let me just fix the weather first, and here we go. So right off the bat, it looks like the slices are making a lot more. You can already see there's four bone meal in here, as compared to having two bone meal from the melons. But while that's going, let's come over here to this wall and talk about the mats. We know that melons have a 65% chance of composting, meaning 65% of whatever we put in there will be successful at making new levels. We put in 100 melons, so 65% of that is 65 melons, which will turn into 65 levels, keeping in mind that 7 compost levels generates 1 bone meal. So 65 levels divides by 7 to generate 9.2857 bone meal. Or if you round it to two decimal places, that's the 9.29 that we found on the wiki page. Compare this to the melon slices which have only a 50% chance of composting, 100 melon blocks is the same as 900 slices. And if 50% of those 900 are successful at making new levels, that's 450 levels, which is insane for the same amount of melons converted into slices. So taking 450 levels and dividing by 7 generates 64.2857 bone meal, or in other words, 64.29 as claimed on the wiki. And now that the experiment is done, let's have a look at the results. Okay, so melons only made 11 bone meal, while melon slices made 63 bone meal. Wow! So the claim is true and the maths checks out. That's really cool! And let's not forget this was split into 9 composters. So you can see that there's a bit of wastage here and there because not all of them were able to complete their composting into a bone meal. So if you want to make use of all the scraps, just shove all 900 melon slices into a single composter and you'll most likely end up with a lot more than what we generated here. So the clear winner are the melon slices and that's what you should be using to make bone meal. In fact, it only takes 130 slices to create the same amount of bone meal as 100 melons. And each melon makes up 3 to 7 slices when you break them, so you're always going to get more yield from using the slices. As a bonus, you can make a fully automated bone meal farm using melons because they're self-growing. On a side note, skeleton bones can also be used to make bone meal, and I'm curious about the effectiveness of using a skeleton spawner to make skeletons, which I can then kill using cacti to collect a bunch of bones. I'm not really sure how that'll go, but if you guys want to see either that project or the fully automated bone meal farm project, then let me know down in the comments below. Click the subscribe button right now to join the channel, and hit like on the video if you enjoyed it. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.